Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Topher Smurf. Today we're going to be covering all of the new shops and places where you can buy things in the game so you can get the best value for your hard-earned resources. Before we start though, quick reminder about the collection vent which is ending soon and I want to make sure that you guys don't forget about your boy Rigel. He's over there in the collection event so make sure to go pick him up. Like any good mobile MMO, there are tons of currencies and things to purchase. It can get a little confusing and some things are definitely a better value than others. I have made it decently far in the game and I want to share what I've learned. Let's start with the arena shop. I'm personally farming the arena for these pirate captain pieces, because you know I pulled Frigate, the dark pirate captain. Praise be to come to us. And I want to slowly skill him up over time and use my Devilmons towards other things. The challenge shop here is pretty straightforward. Devilmon first, Legend Scrolls next, and after that, you kind of have a choice. Or you can keep saving for those cosmetics, which do actually give you a stat boost. For the Brawl shop, I am really only focusing on the Devilmon. But I'm sucking down that Copium, thinking that I'll get another LD5, so I might occasionally pick up an LD scroll. After that, save your tokens to eventually get the cosmetics for that stat buff for all of your main summoners. In the guild shop, it's pretty lackluster. If you're trying to build the bomber or raccoonie, go for it. Otherwise, I'm going for the scrolls. Remember that scrolls are not just for getting that summoning high, but also it's for increasing stats through monster collection books, getting skill ups and awakening monsters. The ascension shop is pretty unique. If you just started the game, then I would save these tokens for the powers of ascension, which gives you basic stat buffs for all of your monsters and summoners. You will also need to complete the challenges of the spire of ascension to earn the other currency needed to level up the powers of ascensions even farther. The trial of ascension will reset every month. So once you are in about the second reset, you can start earning more of that basic currency and start spending the basic currency on other things in the shop. As far as other things in the shop, I would start with the mount as it will help you get around faster and help you hunt down enemies in the battlefield. I'm back coward. Why are you running? Unless you've already purchased or acquired a fast mount, in that case, you can start saving towards the outfits. In most games, I don't really care about cosmetics, but Come to Us pulled a sneaky on us and made all of the outfits have stats attached to them, which make your account stronger. A new shop is the Moon Shadow Shop, which is attached to the battlefield. Obviously, I'm going for the Devil Mons first, which will be your highest priority. As you rank up in the battlefield by getting kills, you will get access to the next Devil Mon. Once you reach the highest levels of 1,000 kills and 2,000 kills, you will be able to purchase an additional two Devilmon per month. It's going to be a while for most of us to get to that point. The outfits are a long-term goal, so keep saving your victory seals, and eventually we can pick up these outfits for additional stats. I honestly think that the only other thing that I'm buying in this shop is maybe the potions or soups? Question mark. But yeah. Popping these on a tough boss battle or battlefield can be clutch, and they are pretty good value at 80 Skystones each. The subjugation shop, for the most part, you're not going to really need to buy a whole lot of stuff here for yourself, but rather you're going to be using this for leveling up the blacksmithing profession. These are honestly just food for the blacksmithing, and instead of actually making them all the way up, you can just buy them from the shop and turn them in. Just make sure that you buy the right one because the stars and awaken levels can be a little bit confusing. Once you've completed blacksmithing or at least got up to about level six, you can start using subjugation tokens on maybe yarn for some of the other outfit sets. Let's look at the raid coins. You will definitely want to be using your tokens towards rolling for new gear. I will be making a whole separate video on how to awaken and re-roll your gear, but that's all pretty high level stuff. For now, just save up some tokens and buy the highest awakened gear that you can, and hopefully you roll for some decent substats. Okay, let's switch over now, and let's talk about actually spending money, right? So a lot of us are free to play. I would consider myself more of a dolphin, but I'm going to break this up into three sections. Things to buy in the shop for free to play. Things to buy in the shop if you're a minnow or a dolphin. 
and the whales. For my free to play players, there are a couple things in the shop that you can buy for straight red crystals. And I think almost everything is worth getting. There's the growth and evolution tab where you can pick up the dungeon tickets pack. These are worth it because you get both gold and other resources by using these tickets. I definitely snagged the bag expansion for crystals. I used to think that the consumables shop was a decent deal, but honestly, I would rather use my crystals for more refreshes of game content. The last page is the currency, and there is some gold here that you can purchase for red crystals. And I'll be honest, I've been tempted, but I would rather spend my crystals on refreshes and earn gold that way. Okay, this will be for my minnows and dolphins out there. The hard-working middle class of America. That occasionally splurges on some tasteful waifu skins. Okay, these are some of the value items to buy. Season passes. Both the summoner's pass and the arena passes are both pretty good value, especially if you're an active player. Throughout the early game, as you initially complete the story, you're going to get offered a couple packs, anywhere between a dollar and about ten dollars. A couple of them had transcendent scrolls. I think it was a trans scroll for like three dollars. I definitely picked up some of those. And then for our whales, you guys keep the game alive and we thank you. To wrap this all up, I just want to say that I have really been enjoying the game. And if you feel like it is bringing you any sort of joy in your life, don't feel bad about swinging a couple bucks here and there. My philosophy has always been that if I'm going to play a free to play game and I like it, I'm almost always going to drop five to ten bucks both to enhance my initial enjoyment and to support the developers. Now don't get me wrong, I'm no comp to a simp, and mobile game developers and publishers are notoriously greedy and downright scummy, but I feel like comp to us has done a decent job of balancing the pay-to-win, free-to-play scale. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you've been enjoying the content, be sure to like the video so YouTube can show you more like it. And of course, subscribe if you want to support the channel and continue to see more videos and live streams from me. That's all for now. I'm Topher Smurf telling you to keep on gaming.